Sea Ray. Every moment perfectly crafted. Hi guys, it's me, Joey Sharp, Sea Ray Boats. Today I'm here to talk to you about Fusion Audio. I have Dan Suters with me from Fusion, and we're going to talk about some of the key features and benefits of Fusion Audio on Sea Ray Boats. Yeah, thanks, Joey. Um, I think today we're going to talk about some of the features that set Fusion yep. aside from uh, from the other brands out there, and, and probably why Sea uh, Ray chose us, but also how to actually use those features as well. So things like uh, digital signal processing, which we integrate into the stereos, uh, allows you to have the best quality audio out on the water. Uh, Built-in Wi-Fi on board our stereo systems allows you to use uh, technology like Apple AirPlay, AirPlay 2 for high quality streaming. Uh, we've got Fusion Link uh, integrations with the Simrad plotters on board, with the remotes and with the Fusion Link app on the phone as well. So there's loads of really cool features that set us aside. Um, so that's what we're going to have a look at today. So great, let's go take a look at this new technology. I want to talk to you a little bit about zone control. As you know, that this boat has four different zones. We have the bow, we have the cockpit, and the hard top, and then we have the transom speakers, and then we have the cabin itself. Mm -hmm. So how do we control those zones on this boat? Yeah, so I mean, you, you really want to be able to independently control the volume in each of those different sound areas, um, especially, for example, the transom. If you're coming into a marina, you don't want to be blasting music out to all of your neighbors. Right. So you want to be able to just turn that zone down and have louder volume here in the, right. in the, in the cockpit area. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward to, to control. We've got the large volume control here. Uh, we can just turn up and down each independent um, volume zone. In that volume menu we've also got a sub-level uh, control, so okay. we have independent volume control or subwoofers. This is really important because as you change between different genres of music, you want more or less bass. Right. So for example, if you went from uh, a hip-hop track to um, an orchestral piece or something like that, you don't want a dr droning sort of cello happening. So we'd probably jump into the, the sub-control and we just turn the sub down in that particular area. So you've got independent volume control of your subwoofer and your speakers in the same zone. And I noticed that the screen is touch, so does mm -hmm. that mean you can actually touch that and control those zones yeah, as well? Yeah, absolutely. You can do it with your hand, you can do it with uh, all, the, all the main volume control as well. So each one of these I can touch and move the mm -hmm. volume up and exactly. down. Exactly. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, that's right. We also um, allow control from other areas on the boat as well because, for example, if somebody's sitting up in the bow and you're, and you're driving along, um, you don't want them yelling out every five minutes to turn it up or turn it down. So we've given them control themselves up there as well. They essentially have a replica of this um, as a remote control um, built in the bow with another one on the transom where they can control just their own zone. They can still skip tracks and things like that if they like, but primarily it's for controlling the volume just in their own area so they're not disturbing the driver all the time. So in a large boat, we do have two remotes, but when you get into a smaller boat, you have your head unit at the dash mm -hmm. and then you have your transom remote at the back. So you can, even with the smaller boat, you can still control it with the transom remote at the back. Exactly, yeah, that's right. Um, there's actually quite a few control options, to be honest. Um, there's uh, actually an interface on the Simrad display where you can control it as well. You can download the app onto your phone and control it from there. So there's a lot of options for controlling the volume in the, on the boats. Great. So let's talk a little bit about discrete zones or party bus. So we call it a discrete zone. You guys call it party mm -hmm. bus. One and the same, essentially. Yes. How does that work? Yeah, so essentially with, with uh, in some instances, and this boat's a perfect example because we've got a, a cabin down below, um, you d might not always want to be having every zone listening to the same source of music. So okay. for example, if we're all listening to some music up here and having a beer, uh, and the kids are downstairs and want to watch a movie on the, on the DVD player, for example, um, we want to be able to separate those out. Uh, but on occasion you might have the whole boat opened up, you want the same song throughout the whole boat. So that's what we call party bus. So basically the stereo downstairs is an SRX 400 right. um, and it can jump on or off the, the party bus network. So it can jump in and listen to what we're listening to up here or it can go away and just do its own thing. It's got its own Bluetooth source, it's got its own AM FM receiver. Uh, so it can be a totally independent stereo as well. Um, so it's basically just an option to, for it to join the rest of the boat or separate off as it likes. So that's what we call party bus. Um, it is actually also possible to do that um, via Wi-Fi, so uh, potentially if you've got a boat that's rafted up next door, provided yep. you're within Wi-Fi range of each other, you can actually connect the stereos on multiple boats together as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so that means that you can, you're no longer competing, like this, this stereo is louder so we have to listen to their music, or you know, it's also not a great sound stage if someone's playing the music next door and you're over here, it just doesn't right. sound very good, but you can replicate with uh, absolutely lossless uh, as far as there's no delay. Uh, exactly what they're listening to on the boat next door, which is really cool. But that only happens when you have an Apollo 770 and an uh, SRX 400, right? You can't do that with all Fusion radios. It's just no, the newer radios, must, right? must be Apollo series products, that's okay. right, yep. So the, the 770, the 400. Um, we've actually released recently uh, another stereo called the 670. Um, so if you've got a friend that's got a boat with a 670 in it, they can do it. Uh, the Apollo series is better at it because it's got the Wi-Fi built into the unit. So it's basically fully equipped to do it straight out of the factory. 
Um, again, we do password protect uh, that as well, so that you can't, random boats can't right. just jump onto your network. You've got to give them the password to your stereo if they want to listen to what you're listening to. So Dan, can you walk us through how to hook up the discrete zone that's down in the cabin, or what you guys would call a party bus, to the Apollo 770 that's in the cockpit? Yeah, absolutely, it's really simple. So uh, normally when you're pressing the source button, you get your AM, FM, Bluetooth options. Instead of just pressing that button, you would hold it down. Uh, this will display any stereos that are available on the network. In this case, it's an RA770, so you'd select that. Uh, and then you know you're actually on the network and listening to whatever that RA770 is. While well, over you're in that mode, there's a green highlight around the screen. Okay. So, so you know you're in party bus, you know you're joined to another stereo. So if you press the source button again, you're now actually controlling the sources of the 770 that's upstairs, um, not the sources that are on the unit itself. Okay. When you want to exit party bus, it's exactly the same process. You just hold that source button down and it'll jump out of party bus. And that's what and, takes it back to the discrete It takes zone. it back to its own normal zone, exactly. And so it can have its own sources then, AM, FM, Bluetooth, etc. Um, so it's pretty simple to do. Uh, it's quite easy to jump in and out uh, as quickly as you like. Perfect. Sea Ray. Every moment perfectly crafted.